hello guys welcome back again to my channel my name is jenna if you are a returning subscriber you are actually welcome if you are new here you are also welcome guys in today's video we are going to be talking about how to know your skin type um some people don't even know their skin types and that's why when they tend to get a skincare product then they just say they just they just tag the skincare product and say oh this is not actually good for me it's a fake or maybe they'll just tag it and say oh my friend did not give me the right um you know product she's using so today i'm going to be helping you to you know identify your skin type okay so that's what i'll be doing in this video and also telling you guys a lot of things you need to know about skincare um you know products and also a lot of things you need to know about your skin okay so today we're going to be talking about skin okay what the skin means and how to identify your skin type is very very important we have normal skin we have um we have the sensitive skin we have the dry skin and of course we have the oily skin these are not all the types of skin but these are the main type of skin okay so how to identify them if you have um a dry skin you will notice that after putting your cream or your lotion um on your body in the next two minutes everywhere have turned to dry land <laughs> everywhere have turned to dry land as if there's amatan even when there's no amatan you see everywhere this place will just turn white yeah it's always happening here will turn white and then <laughs> and then everywhere will be so dry to the extent you can feel it do you understand that's how you identify a dry skin type okay another one is oily skin um if you have oily skin after um, sleeping and then you woke up to notice that oh this place is actually oily here is oily or oh, here is oily and then here is also oily then you have then you have um an oily skin oil if you will touch it you will notice and you have to know um you have a normal skin a normal skin type is actually a good skin because it's neither oily neither um dry okay but then it's actually break it's actually break out okay it's actually break out if you can if you are not taking care of it properly it can also break out okay but it's actually a very good skin another one is the sensitive skin see this sensitive skin has a lot a lot of ways you know that you have sensitive skin um in the type of skin where by somebody will tell you the person that has the sensitive skin will tell you that oh i use this product during summer i use this product during winter that is to show you that this person have a sensitive skin okay the sensitive skin can react during the summer it can react during the winter like it might not even like the weather okay it can it can just you know change you know stuff like that and then it's very 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 easy and it's fast to react okay if you apply a product on your body and then it's not even it doesn't even like it it doesn't even once it is going to show you immediately like the next morning you just feel like oh this thing have actually irritated it's actually gave me um you know um irritation it gave me maybe pimples it gave me um or maybe that place start itching you know stuff like that you just give you a sign that i don't like this i don't want this do you understand that's what sensitive skin the sensitive skin is a type of skin where you you have to maintain that skin see you have to and your sensitive skin does not want switching of products it doesn't want you to switch, keep on switching products from from one product to another you know those of you that used to do from one product to another one product to another no it doesn't want it okay it doesn't 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 want it how to maintain a good skin see as this skincare issue everybody is going to learn it okay as a person you need to have a routine a skincare routine okay it's actually very good to have a skincare routine a morning skincare routine and the night skincare routine you can also have um your scrub night your scrub night yes you can also have retinol night you can have retinol you can have vitamin c night just have a routine for your skin okay you can have a routine for your skin and it's actually very good okay product is meant to be used morning and night they even wrote it in the in the in, in, in most products that you should use it morning and night after bathing but some people will not even <laughs> some people will not even lead, lead to that advice they'll just use it once like once in a whole day and then you expect it to work now 
So, another thing I'll be saying is that the face product and the body product should not be the same. Okay? I know they wrote it in some product that um, um, you, it can be used on the body and on the face. But my dear, I would advise you not to use your, your body cream for your your face okay don't use your body products for your face okay except you know how to um how to how to um know the benefit of those ingredients for the body um you know the names of those ingredients they use in making the um body products and if if it can actually go well with your face then yes you can use it but for me i'll advise you not to use your body products for your face okay so for the facial aspect um i think four products is okay for the face except you want to treat acne you want to treat pimples you want to treat sunburn you want to treat you know eczema and stuff some stuff like that then i would say you should use like um five products or six products okay but then four main products you should use on your skin um number one is a wash okay a facial cleanser i think that's what they call it number two is a toner a hydrating toner number three you should use um you should use a, a moisturizer and that is what you people call face facial cream another one you should use is um you should use um a sunscreen okay that sunscreen is actually a yes yes a must must okay um so um for your body you should use your body cream and then if you want if you have this dry skin maybe that's the 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 um um the cream you are using for your body is not that hydrating you can actually use a body oil okay you can use a body oil for you to have that um um long lasting moisture okay i don't know how to pronounce it but that is it anyway so another thing you should know is that if you are treating um maybe you are treating um um some burn you are treating pimples you are treating um scars you are treating anything you are treating maybe melasma or i don't know but you should first of all know the things you are getting and make sure you are getting it from somebody who is a skincare consultant okay don't just go to any where they sell cosmetics like um skincare products and then you ask them what can i use because those people want to sell they'll just give you anything they just feel like okay take this thing and go and use it because they want to sell do you understand uh -huh. so a skincare a skincare consultant is actually different from a skin skincare seller okay so skin are very different okay skin are very very different the reason why i just um told you guys how to identify your skin type is because some of you will see your friend glowing you see your friend's skin is shiny like mirror glass and then you'll be like amaka what did you use for your skin so that you can also go and use Amaka will tell you what she used on her skin and then you go and purchase it and use it. It will make you darker and then you run back to Amaka and tell Amaka that this thing will not work or this, this she tell you your the, the real thing she's using on her skin. But she told you the real thing she's using on her skin. Just that your skin and Amaka's skin is very, very different. Okay? So, if you want to, like, maintain, like, for the body, what you need for your body is actually body body cream, body wash, or maybe a soap, yes. Um, you need a scrub and then your oil, okay? You need a body oil for that glowing skin. Um, you can see my skin. I have dry skin, okay? I have dry skin, but you won't know because it's actually shining. And I use a, a body oil alongside with my body lotion okay i use it but then i promise you guys that i'll be reviewing some products for you um okay so that will be in the next video i hope this video is you know very very educating and it taught you how to you know know your skin type and how to maintain a proper hygienic routine for your skin okay so um that's just it okay i'm gonna review some products for you guys in my next video i'll see you in my next video okay please if you have watched this lesson and you have not subscribed hit that subscribe button to 
Then notify whenever I post a new video.